Hello and welcome to Be Fixed at Auto Club. Uh, I saw this on another channel. Um, Justin Schuller? Schuller? <laughs> Sorry for mispronouncing that. Um, I saw it. I saw him run it, and it looked like a lot of fun. So uh, I wanted to give it a shot. You know how like you don't realize you're mispronouncing something or don't know how to pronounce something until you try to say it out loud and you've never had to before. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, if I got that wrong. Schuller, Schuller, one of the two. I'll go ahead and link uh, this channel in the description, why not? Because um, uh, maybe want to run this, it looked like fun, it reminds me of... Here, if I can. Uh, it reminds me of uh, when Arca came here, it looks like, the High Line. You know, my favorite High Line seems to be the way to go. So, you know I gotta give it a try. Glad I was able to get it done before the uh, week change is over. Um, seems, uh... Not sure, maybe, uh, hopefully Highline's where you want to be in practice, too. Or, uh, in qualifying, too. Might, uh, not even be it, but... It looks like the practice session I was in... Maybe, uh, was a little bit of a slower track than what we got here, because that was actually be my best lap. Let's see where that puts me. 7.54. For now it's the pole. And uh, I know track position is going to be important, because it's going to be hard to pass here. Uh, I think we're going to get some slide jobs, which is kind of scary. Um, if people are not able to get to the outside. But a uh, tenth up on second place, that's cool. Let's see if that sticks. Uh -huh. Ooh, uh -oh. <laughs> First lap, I think, is definitely going to be the fastest. We got beat out just by a tiny bit. Uh, Ken is very fast. I've raced with him before. So, not going to feel too bad about that. I think I'm going to have to end up starting second, though. I'm going to. I hate that. <laughs> not too thrilled. Um, but should be okay. Actually, you know what? Outside lane's gonna be good. I still like starting second because then I gotta do the. Oh, don't hit the wall! Wall! Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> you know, look to my left and not hit the outside wall or anything stupid. So that's not always my favorite thing to do. But uh, we'll live. We'll survive. Hopefully, not get a terrible jump. And uh, I stick. I stick. I could still lose second here. Uh, if someone else pulls out a lap. Uh, I'm not sure how tire saving is going to work here. I guess I'm going to try to save tires. Maybe uh, take it easy mid-corner in the race itself. And I uh, still think I'm going to try to do this high line, though. I don't know if that's going to be the way to save tires or not. I might watch number one car, see how they're doing it. I have to assume they probably know better than I do. Maybe you want to not take the highest line at the start of the race to preserve the tires a little better. I don't know. But, uh, wow, that was pretty quick. That was actually pretty quick. Um, a lot of people qualified. Like I said, the track position is going to be important. And I think uh, this split just once. Uh, I was kind of worried for a minute. It looked like not very many people at all were going were gonna to sign up, but then they started pouring in. I guess another race finished or something. I was one of only two people in the practice session, so. That was kind of weird. But, um, we, we ended up getting the second spot. Watch for, oh, that's going to be an easy car to see. That blue and green. A little bit of yellow. But at least we got that, uh, we got the saturation to look out for. It, uh, be easy to keep an eye on it. And we'll see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to want to try to go a little hard at the start. Because, like I said, passing is going to be very difficult the later it gets in the race. So I'm not going to want to give up a bunch of positions right away. Because it might be hard to get them back later. So maybe we'll uh, try to get a gap. 
try to get a bit of a gap and then we'll start being nicer to the tires. I imagine the one's probably going to get ahead. Maybe we can get away from the guys behind a little bit. Let's see. Let's, uh... I'm not sure if you're trying to talk, but I saw you queue up about ten times and I wasn't here any time. But uh, it should be fun. I love that high side. There are so, additional sets of be running it. Yeah, I really started enjoying Auto Club a lot more. Never really got yeah, the opportunity know. to race it too often uh, before recently, and then Arca came here, and then now this car. And I really like the way these cars run on this track. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. Not sure what gear we want to be in. <laughs> you know, now that I'm thinking about it too, I did watch a uh, another video in preparation for this because I wasn't quite sure the fast way around here at first. I can't remember what their name was, but uh, they uploaded a uh, like a, a hot lap. I use that as reference for my practice, so since I'm uh, linking stuff, I might as well link them too uh, in the description. Um, they had uh, did a hot lap. It doesn't look like they normally do iRacing content, so they just kind of like popped out with a hot lap, and it was a real good lap. It was better than I can do. Uh, they had like a low 7 in their hot lap. I don't know if they had different conditions or something, but they had a real nice lap, and I use that for reference, and obviously paid off. I'm able to qualify P2, so uh, thank you to them as well for helping out with my practice and uh, getting the hot laps down. We'll see how the race goes, but that's up to me. Get ready. Going so. green. Watched him in my mirror. Saw their like quarter panel and I uh, use that to find my jump. Seems to be a good way to do it a lot of the time. Ooh, that's real loose. Ooh, that's scary. Real loose on these cold tires. But I didn't try to do too, anything too crazy there. They're going down low. Inside. Still there. Clear. I got kind of close to me. Like I said, I want to try to get this. Try to get up front quick. Clear outside. Oh my god. It... Wow, that didn't turn at all. <laughs> that was bad. So, that was weird. I guess I should have practiced feeling what that uh, low side would feel like. Spot to be in. Boxed in. Not what I want to hear. You have top three wide. Oh, why is this guy swerving? Uh, let's try not to completely not turn this time. Go ahead and do the slide job, come up high, 
clear enough that that shouldn't be a problem. Box him in. Burn the tires off it. Why not? <laughs> there we go. Alright, now it's about maintaining. So, do another fast corner or two. I got a guy diving. Hopefully he doesn't just run up and hit me. Good. I think they're going to have a real time trying to pass me, so got a little bit of the front stretch there. We'll see if we regret burning the tires off it later, but at least we'll have fun <laughs> in the meantime. Uh, let's see a session last lap. I just think the track position is going to be important. We'll see if I'm wrong, but... It actually kind of caught up to me a little bit there. Hmm. see just you know if I can be on this high line I think uh, this track position is gonna be very important even if I do burn my tires off uh, it's gonna be really hard for them to get past me even if they are making some ground on the entry of corner I'll go ahead and cut this see all that green it gives you if you do that just a uh, free time. I want to leave that on the table. There we go. Now we can kind of try to get on our rhythm here, run this high line. See where it takes us. I had my brake bias back to like 52, somewhere around there. I think uh, now that I'm out here, though, I'm going to go ahead and put it back farther. Sure. Just get as much uh, rotation as we can. Just, uh, I feel like the way this is going to go is I'm going to be out here for a while, but then uh, my tires are going to get so bad that they're going to be able to pass me anyway on the low line. Especially guys that uh, is like fastest guys, probably number one. He'll be able to do it. He'll save the tires and be able to do it. And uh, just four maybe, unless he's burning them off as well, trying to keep up with me. As long as I don't hit the wall. <laughs> Got kind of close there. But uh, I'm probably going to regret driving so hard now. But I feel like doing this will at least allow me to uh, still be able to get a decent finish. Of course, kind of trying to dive down there, but he's going to get a no run off at all. I'm going to drive away from him on this long straightaway. I don't mind blocking, but don't do it so late. Calm down. That's about as nice as you can be. I am pretty calm. That's about as nice as you can be about saying, like, hey man, you're blocking kind of hard. And that guy's like, calm down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm focusing on my own race. I entered to uh, a little lower there than I wanted. Where did they get? That was a 
Another oh, thing that could happen that might benefit us. No, it's on the if uh, we start falling off our precautions, that's something that we'll, we get here that we don't get in Arca. So, see how that goes. Then again, if we get a get a caution, I think the one's faster. They could probably beat us out, even with the track position, because on new tires, you can probably run a little lower, make a pass. Man, it's fun though. I don't even really, really care if I end up winning or not, as long as it ends up a clean race. And I got the chance to run this this week because I wasn't sure if I was going to. Yeah, see that one? He's got better tires. I had a feeling he would uh, catch up to us. Here he comes. Trust that he's not gonna just slide up and hit us. I feel like he's counted enough to make the pass without having to use contact or whatever. But we'll see what happens. I'll probably burn my tires off too much. Be able to maintain these. Inside. Inside. Still there. Inside. Clear. I right, cleared us. Look at that. Yep. So it looks like uh, you can get it done. The next car's the leader. Man, I was up against the wall. How you gotta turn me? Up. I wonder if I can use that seam a little bit. Good <laughs> lord. I'm going to need as much turn as I can get, but... Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Car outside. Outside is clear. Get some blocking, that's fine. Jeez. Clear outside if you want it. Turn, turn. Ugh. Yeah, the tires came off harder and faster than I thought they would. Arca car felt like you could go harder for longer, so. I'm discovering the, dif the differences between the two combos here. It's, uh, still in third. That's a thing. You know, 19, you're blinking in and out really bad. Okay, Colton, I'm way home. We've got plenty of fuel. That last lap was at 43.8. To, uh, yeah. Breaks a little bit more now. Get the turn. Got a little earlier. Just with the car. Kind of like what I predicted, though. We had a we got a couple guys that are uh, able to get by us and stuff. So they're able to save tires better. So I think we're still in position to get a decent finish, despite all that. Let's run. Let's pass. Clear inside. This five might be able to do it. 
But then we got a second back until number eight back there. Seems like the five uh, maybe hurt their tires just trying for that pass. I just can't see running down there like that. When I even tried that on fresh tires, my uh, car just slid up all the way to the wall. And I, I drove it in hard because I was trying to do like a slide job type thing, but I felt like it just didn't turn at all. It's weird. One's kind of all the way up there by the wall now. Maybe they got a better game plan. Maybe the maybe run that lower line up the start to save tires, and once you get up there now, you're in a position where it's gonna be really hard for someone to pass. I've never been all that great at these uh, B cars, though, so. Even if I fall back a couple more spots, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I'm going a little uh, less on the brakes, a little more just easing off the gas there. Seems pretty equal, maybe down about, well, you know, 0.03. Inside. Clear. Down. It's taking a decent bit of focus though. I'm sure this thing doesn't hit the wall. It's really trying. Clear. He's getting his nose in there. Is he going to be a guy that uh, just doors me eventually? Let's see. Instead of driving like this on the outside, you know, defending your position and using this, this uh, method, it's going to be frustrating when trying to pass someone, but some guys just straight up start dooring you and sure about all that. Inside. Stay hide with the car on the low well, I'm just gonna the the I just don't think he's going to be able to pass me this number five. I don't think it's going to be possible. His tires are getting more and more worn every time he tries it. You got to try getting to my outside at this point. Uh oh, oh waiting for a mistake. This got too high up. Ah, uh, this is scary. Still all around the loop, that's myself, and lost it on one turn. Two. Hold your line, inside, two wide. Clear. Car inside. Still there, inside. You're in the middle. Three wide, sir. You're in the middle. Three wide. And now, two big of a fan of the next Finity cars. There at the bottom. Clear. There's a really, uh. What's the door on me? I don't know that I've ever ran the trucks here myself. So we lose a couple spots because of all that. Inside. Clear inside. That's fine. 
These guys can still hit the wall. Conjured it, I guess. The car inside. Clear. You're in clear. Just catch it. The gap's now. Alright, dude, that was not cool. Car inside. Clear inside. So what he's thinking there? It's not have thought I was that close. I don't know, but did not appreciate that. Hmm. Are we battling for a lead up there? It might be. It's pretty cool. Got a good race going. Yep, we're getting on the throttle a little soon. I don't want to try to get in your guys' way. It's just my tires are so fresh. This three's coming uh, real fast. They must have saved their tires pretty well. Yeah, look how much turn they have. They must have saved tires pretty good. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear inside. And that was a good slide job. See, that's how you do it. You don't destroy someone. Try to pass him again because clearly he's just gonna <laughs> run away with it. But he's gonna push. Not cool. Uh oh, we got a caution maybe. I went and forgot that was even a possibility again, but don't really want that. Even though it would probably benefit me, I don't want to get crashed on a green white checkered either. I think this might be our finishing spot though. Got the five back there who I think uh, also burned their stuff up. So I'm not so sure they're gonna catch back up. And I don't think I'm gonna be passing these guys either unless they get into each other. So unless something happens, looks like a sixth place finish. Which, like I said, I'm cool with. So I'm not usually all that great with these cars. Yeah, I was fighting side by side though. They're even fighting for the lead up there, so we could still have something happen. Two left to go. Two That's to for go. sure. If I were to try this again, I'd probably be a little nicer to the tires. They fell off. I knew they were going to fall off hard. I didn't know they were going to fall off quite that soon. So I would probably uh, try to be a little easier on them, but still kind of do that same strategy where, you know, track position is going to be important. I mean, look, we're still getting sixth out of it with, with dead tires. There's a nagging thumb in the back of my head. I'm like, oh my god, what if it hits zero? <laughs> but there's no way, right? There's no way it would hit zero. Right? Foreshadowing? No. It's, uh... Not with one lap to go, surely. It wouldn't hit zero and say, oh, you've got, got to right. come in to fix the damage. To it wouldn't do that to me, right? Uh, good times. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> Let's see what happens on this final lap. Oh, they're way high on the track. They're looking for that runoff, I guess. They almost look like they went too high. Good win, Milan. Number one is uh, conceding. Number ten with a win. That's awesome. Must like making that big mistake here.
Uh, I, oh, maybe a little something going on here. Good race, guys. Good win, 10. Yeah, we didn't have anyone like door door us with our even with our super annoying high line <laughs> strategy. So I appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and look at and laugh at my uh, whatever my tires say because they're gonna be real bad going for the high score or low score, I guess, for the percentage. And a nice place. Uh, get out on the apron here. So I had some people driving behind us. Don't want any dumb or X's after the race. I think we're good now, though. <clears throat> Was a good win by the 10 car. I know Ken's really fast, so they really pulled off a, a great run to do that. But uh, we got P6 with our dumb strategy 4280. Ah, uh, going to go ahead and put that in chat because it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I just I co I totally went out. There was no tire saving on my mind. <laughs> um, so P6, that's fine. Um, we'll see what happened, incidents and such. Get a wider, uh, higher view. I got a volume, which is really high for some reason. I don't know why it does that in a few places. Seems like it's just a ball tap or something. It's kind of fun view. Got the chopper flying over, watching them. Big wide track, so it seems fitting. Hold on, nothing. Maybe some barely little wall taps, I guess that's one too. The wall seven is. Gets around him. There's us in the lead until the uh, tire falls off. Yeah, but like that guy, the number three, that saved the tire super well, the 7481. Like, he still only finished two spots ahead of us. So I feel like my strategy wasn't too bad, because it is so hard to pass. I just think that uh, needed to time it a little different. Um, save the tires a little bit more on the start. And then, uh, feel more comfortable just going all out and keeping the track position up front. But my uh, first time ever doing this combo, I think. You know, you learn something new every time you race. Especially if it's a uh, new combination you don't know so much about. Like I said, I just uh, I watched one other race here. I watched a guy do some hot laps and tried to mimic it. So, first actual race experience. I'm happy with the sixth. A little bit of blocking there. Giving them some taps of disapproval. That's what it looked like. Let's do uh here. Is that a Scooby Doo car? That's fun. Or should I say that's groovy? A little bit of coming together on the exit. Three, tapping the wall. Assume that's what we're getting again and again. And again. Well, that wasn't even really so much. Really uh, lift it off to not hit the wall. It's going to get that outside line. Eventually helped him 
almost get around him, and then he kind of like 19 was pinching him or something. Get wrecked though, or anything. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this. So, I don't think the six knew that I was gonna be trying to cut down. That's just a racing incident, I think. Because uh, I had a huge run on the five, so I'm not just gonna hit the brake, you know. Um, but the six is kind of going to the same spot, so it's just two guys coming to the same spot. I maybe went a little too far. We just we kind of came together. We were going for the same spot, so. Ooh. What was I doing? I don't remember. Tap him, and then I kind of got sent up there, and then the five was kind of like cutting down a little bit, so I had to get away from him. <laughs> but uh, we we kept it safe. We uh, all kept it zero x, no crash. So is that maybe why the I don't remember when he did it, but is that maybe why the six cut us off so hard? Was he not happy about that? Oh yeah, there it was. So the five. I think he gets on the wall here. Yeah. Oh, he got hard. I didn't even notice how hard he hit it. So, I think again, he just didn't know where we were. He didn't realize we were right there. Because he, like, cuts us off hard right there. Like, that's my entry to the corner. That's where I'm driving in deep. And so he's, like, basically cutting me off in the braking zone. Essentially. Like, you would see in, like, road racing more often. Like, you don't enter someone's lane right before the braking zone. That's essentially what happened there. But, uh... It was certainly surprising. All of a sudden, that blew all up in my face right here. Didn't want to tap him. He just got right in front of me right before I was entering the corner. But, uh, again, we avoided anything, any catastrophe, so that was okay. Kind of just another, uh instance where we were heading for the same spot. I think the uh, 6 should have given me the lane with uh, my closing speed I had on him. But uh, he probably just didn't see. And this is when you really start getting some crazy stuff near the end of the race because, you know, some people, basically everyone, has got their tires all worn out. Yeah, hit the wall here. I think so. No. I think it shows sometimes whenever like a tire hits like a critical mark or something like that might have been my tire hitting like 50% or something that was the 23 just that was me early in the race like trying to take that lower line their problem here though is they just entered way low they didn't get the angle at all and so if you're going to enter that low you really have to slow it down and they didn't they just, <laughs> just drive up and take almost two people out before they let off so that's, uh, that's probably something they're still learning. 23, they're probably, probably still pretty inexperienced in a uh, low participation field like this. Um, on the M&M scar, that's like a Elliott Sadler area, I think. M&M scar, I could be wrong. There's been a lot of M&M cars, so. That's the 22 doing the thing that we just saw earlier. This one was less, uh, they entered low and more. They got over their head. You know, trying to get the car to stick when there's no, there's none left. No tires. I mean, you're just taking a guy out at that point. You're never going to get the car to turn that much this late in the race. And then, <laughs> and this was, uh, the last lap. I think the one maybe taps the wall. Yeah, taps the wall. Because he was trying to give everything he could. Going on the last lap. Because that was the that was his only chance, I think, is to get... Cut this as much as they could. Then uh, take the high line. This was their only option. They, they had hit it real good here. But uh, they didn't have enough tire. For how much they wanted to give it, I think. So they had to lift off a lot. And that was game over. But... If they were able to get at the stick and they had the run on them here, then you got a really interesting finish. You know, who knows what happens going into the final corner. Which lane he ends up getting, top or bottom. That's like really exciting uh, Arca race I had here. Um, I was able to have the high line. And then I was able to cross them over and that's how we had that crazy cool photo finish. 
Uh, last lap, any more interesting stuff going on? Just a wall hit on entry right there, and then that's it. That was the end of the race. Uh, it was a fun one. Uh, my approach didn't quite work as well as I wanted, but still 6th of 23. I mean, I'm supposed to finish 2nd, I guess, but there were a lot of fast guys in here. These guys were, they were pretty good. Um, I mean, the 10 car won, and they beat uh, Robnet, or whatever, how you, Robnet? Robnet? <laughs> and I know he's really fast, so um, lots of competitive guys out here. We had a great uh, race, close race. So uh, I hope it was uh, as enjoyable to watch as it was to race. I'll see you next time.